Live from San Antonio, Texas, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. Well, I was going to come on here today and talk about how I don't want to watch the Spurs anymore. Well, you said that yesterday. I, I teased it and didn't get to it. Because we my, teased a shitload of shit and didn't get to it. I know, fact, man. I need to tweet the link. I stopped down oh, in What's the up? building, the exclusive members only edition mm-hmm. at 1230 and effed up our run sheet the good news is we can do all that today uh i'm leading with the spurs this morning why not man what's up you're, it's you're in the leading middle. with the spurs or are you leading with wimby there's a difference you're right uh, but, but before i do that look at this got, that's cute got us a new sign here for the room what's up y'all what kind um, of material is that it looks quality surfboard i don't know it's thin i don't know what i don't know what that is it's quality it's kind of like a thin surfboard uh, shout out to the Salvation Army. They went and made us a sign. This is my sign for this year's barbecue cook off. And it opened up your wallets and you gave money to the kids. All right. So I'm going to put this here for the next couple of months because I want this to be top of mind. Okay. Hope that doesn't fall over. Okay. So thank you. They went and had that made. I just want that in my background here through the barbecue to remind people that. Uh, we have the barbecue that will come down here on April the 6th. So there's that. If you have any information or any any questions about information, I will give the, I will give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you, baby. All Email right. me, DM me, slide up in my stuff, and I'll, and I'll give you everything you need to know about the barbecue. All right? All right. We need teams. We're, not, we're up to 15, by the way. Good. How many we need? 50? No. Well, we don't, we don't know. At least 30. Okay. And then we'll see how much room we got. We just, we need, you know, maybe we'll see. Um, let's get, let's get to 20, right? 15 now. Let's get to 20 and then we'll reassess the field and only, uh, 150 to sign up, right? Yeah, that's it. To put a team that's in. That's it. A buck 50. That's all it costs. You get four, five, six dudes and y'all get together. And Come on, you. Cough up a bucket, Chief. Everybody bastard. split it. So there's, uh, just wanted to put that in your head. There's the sign a for the barbecue. A buck 50 is a jail term when they slice you across your face. Really? With the razor? No you get shit. 150 stitches. Damn. Hey, Called a buck a risk, Watch too much television. No, and I had, and I probably should know that because I had many uncles that have done many, many years many of time. Years. Many years. Yeah. Get you a buck fifty. Yeah. You had anybody in your family that like did like a long term at TDC? I had a cousin that did a good, a good amount of time. Mm-hmm. Could have took a plea deal, but he didn't, and ended up getting a shit ton of time. Hmm. Thought he had a good lawyer. Nope. Did he have a lot of Once money? Once they want you, you're like, you better yeah. take that deal. 
He had, we had money. We had uh, shit. I got. I got. I can. I can play. I can go tit for tat with just about anybody on, as you know, horrible childhood. No, I got a pretty like crime straight button. Up. My family's kind of bougie. We're not really criminals. That's good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got lawyers, I doctors, come from gangsters, and idiots. Not gangsters. They come from yeah. idiots. A lot of idiots. No, my family's my family's <laughs> pretty pretty buttoned up. <laughs> My grandma didn't play that, so we're pretty buttoned up. Well, you look good today, man, as always. But today you look you look really good. It's a man, good shirt. If I look good on a Tuesday, we're probably going to beg somebody for money. Probably. <laughs> and I won't I won't wear this to the although why not, right? This why is not? our brand. That's, we no, got a brand. I brought a shirt. You brought a shirt? Yeah. I know, I saw we it. We got a business meeting, so we had to get we had to get our crap in order. And they're probably gonna watch this show when we go out there and pitch. They're probably going, oh, let's pull up the last show they've done. So here it is. Now get ready for in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, I just hurt my shoulder. Damn it. You can't move that ah, quick. You have to stretch. Ah, you got to stretch before you do all no, that. I've got a bad shoulder. I've had oh. it for years. Ah, Why don't shit. you use that Obamacare and get it surgically repaired? No, I need to get back to a Rossi. You got to go to Rossi before you cut, before you get cut open. I ain't doing that. I ain't cutting it. Yeah. God damn, that hurt. You all right? Shit. Yeah, I'm fine. No, some I screwed my shoulder up years ago, and it comes and goes. Yeah, usually on cool days, in abrupt movements, done. Yeah, I went to work out this morning. Walked outside; Damn. it was thirty-eight degrees. It was cold. I had to go back in because I I don't drive cold cars. Mm. I had so I had to warm up the car for six minutes. You should see my ass out there walking dogs. I have a full giant made for the mountains like former army veteran jacket. Nice that I got it. Somebody I, like Nina, Rambo, Nina's like first son blood. Got it for me. Yeah. yeah, real thick. And you could tell that whoever wore it, the, the enlisted soldier, the army man, he, it was made for the mountains. He has a mountain climbing patch on, on the jacket. It's really cool, and it's really warm. I had that some bitch on this morning. I had a beanie hat down to my eyeballs. And Walking the dogs. Sweats. Yeah, I suck in the winter. I hate yeah. the winter. <laughs> yeah, that, hate was, that weather this morning almost made me not go to the gym, but I went. Most Texans don't agree with this, but give me that 105 degrees no, I, no, in no. August no. over the shit we had today. I just really? I, I suck in the winter, man. I suck at it. Okay. Now, I'll take this over 106. Because I can warm up. I can't. There's nothing I can do mm. with 106. Uh, well, I, I've just learned to like it. Yeah. If I had to live in if I had to live in a desert versus like a like northern Canada, give me the desert. Here's yeah. Pick one. Like uh, when I went to Phoenix for Super Bowl at night, it got cold. Like the oh, desert's yeah. hot in the day and cold yeah. at night. Absolutely. Like I could deal with that. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I, that's what I would pick. Phoenix is San Antonio. Phoenix is great. I like Arizona too as a state. Yeah, Phoenix felt a lot like San Antonio. A little bit more popping, a little bit more money, obviously. Mm-hmm. But it felt a lot like San Antonio. I enjoyed Phoenix. I spent a week there for tr- uh, spring training one March, and I had Rangers. Gr- yeah, uh, Rangers. We went. We went to like for three or four places. Saw the Cubs. Went to Rangers camp. Uh, went to A's camp. Somebody maybe maybe Angels. Anyway, had a, had a blast and loved Arizona. Would like to go back. Anyhow, that wasn't that wasn't the purpose of the show. But my shoulder hurts. All right, you'll be all right. We'll be fine. I'm good. Smoke a couple of. Doobies before a meeting and I'll be fine. No problem. Going there smelling like pot. That probably wouldn't be good though, huh? It depends on who the meeting's with, <laughs> you know? It might be like you should have shared. Yeah, I know. Maybe so. You never know, man. You you never know. No, so let's get into the I, I was gonna come on here this week and say, oh, here's I'll just tell you that now, right now. So I made the decision to you know, we've had this talk before. What's that? Too many apps. To, on your phone. Oh, hell, Apps on God. your phone, yeah. apps on your TV, got the Roku. And I'm scared and to delete them. All this shit. Right. I don't want a bunch of apps. And then we find out last week that Mickey and Fox and somebody else are going to merge. Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, which is basically, I mean, shit, might as well go get cable again. Right, 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 right. But we have YouTube TV, which I do love YouTube TV. Because I can watch our show. And then you got the football. They put the four screens up there. So Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I can watch... Different shows I like on YouTube, podcast, and watch the Spurs, and regular network television when I need to. But anyhow, they do not. I cannot watch the Spurs though, as I on, on Why YouTube, not? unless you have the Bally's app. So you have to log out of the YouTube, go to the Bally's app to watch the Spurs. Now that's an ass whip. That's an ass whip. But because we got Victor Wimbanyama, I made the decision this year to go ahead and just let's let's. I'm going to get the Bally's app. It's like 18 bucks a month. That's insane. Yep. That's more than Netflix. And 
it's been fine. I've paid it. I thought you were going to cut that shit. Happily. But then he goes for a triple double. Now you're thinking about paying it again. I cut Bally's two weeks ago. And you missed the triple double. And missed it last night. Two weeks. So last (laughs) night, I did not see a shot. Why haven't they figured that out? I don't want to lose the show like we did yesterday. But why haven't the Spurs NBA? What the hell is that? Like, like mm-hmm. it's already an awful product. You know, you want me to pay $18 a month to watch it? Your, your problem is YouTube. I like YouTube, though, man. <laughs> I have, direct, I have the, the Direct TV app. And yeah. I don't want it's got Bally's. It's the same, it's wanna... same exact thing as the YouTube app, except it has Bally's. So get that one. It's not Direct TV like a satellite on oh, your roof okay, in a yeah. box. It's just an app. What do you pay a month for your Direct TV? I think I pay 75 Okay, we're paying... But I'm grandfathered in because I bought it the day it came out when it was called AT&T Now. Uh And that was like four or five years ago. So with YouTube TV, uh, we're paying like 82 It's the same. same. So yeah, if you just switch, you'll have Bally's. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to uh, Mike Kit Carrillo, the uh, head of Spurs Broadcasting, by the way. Because yesterday, I was watching the game and the main broadcast camera, nobody else would notice this but me, was slightly (laughs) out of focus. So I tweeted Dan Weiss, Bally's, and Mike Kick Carrillo, and I'll be damned if Kick didn't get back to me within ten minutes and said it should be better now, and it was better. No shit. Yeah. I once called the Spurs office in the middle of a game because they were on my thirty-five. Y'all remember them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See that. And and the audio was terrible. Bill and Sean sounded like this. And here's a shot from the corner. Yeah. As Tim passes out to Tony, and Tony drives, and the Spurs win. This is how it sounded for like an hour. So I went ahead and called them like, hey, what the fuck, man? Is this on y'all or my 35? Get y'all, y'all need to be on my 35 if I this is horseshit. And it was two get two games in a row. And I'm like, what kind of small market bullshit is this? It ain't it ain't my 35, it's your 35. If I could cancel this, I would get it off my TV. And we did a big bit. I don't think Mike likes me. Mike Kickerillo, oh. the director of broadcasting. Uh Sean Elliott's boss, Bill Land's boss, Danny Weiss's boss. Uh, shout out to those guys, by the way. I have nothing against Kick, but I, he's, we, I've not communicated with that guy in all the years since I left that voicemail. Let's have fun. You're always doing it's a collateral bit. damage. Always doing a bit for content. So then, so basically, what I'm what I'm finding out is I'm working with two gentlemen that would call the Masters or CBS and say, "Hey, Tiger, ball moved. He should be he should be penalized a stroke." That's the type of people y'all are like. LG's calling because it's out of focus. You're calling because of the audio. So who am I working with? Because remember when Tiger got in trouble, somebody called in on television and was like, hey, man, Tiger just did this, and mm-hmm. he got penalized. So that's the type of people that I'm working with. You're working with, with perfectionists. <laughs> okay. You're, you're working with people who demand excellence. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we don't have LG, nobody could even hamsters. see that, LG. We don't have nobody comfort knew hamsters. That. Kick knew it was, it was bad. So, and they I changed mean, th- it. There's obviously we something wrong. You helped them. You helped their broadcast. You should get 50 bucks or some, or a free ticket to a game or some something. Something. We don't do comfort animals in this room here. Comfort yeah. animals. Yeah. All right. You're Emotional expected, support You're expected dogs. to do your fucking yeah. job. <laughs> Not you, but man, we know you know, will. But yeah, like yeah, in yeah, general, I know what you yes. mean. And, when, and I will man carrying the shit out of a broadcast. You bet your ass. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I needed, to, and not like him. He's technical. Me is the broadcasters. LG was like, is a little bit out of focus that nobody else would have noticed. Right, but, but it they was fixed dri- it. And but they it was driving it. him up the fucking wall, clearly, <laughs> to where well, he tweeted Dan Weiss. Why did it was hurting my eyes? Shit, last night because I don't have Bally's. and they're well, playing. And I might get it because they're but playing they, Dallas tomorrow. I'd like to watch that. Well, maybe since maybe switch to direct now and then go back to YouTube for football. Mm-hmm. I I'll think, think YouTube's better for football because you get the. You know, the four games in one. They all have pros and cons. There's not yeah. one that's way better than the others. No. They make it. That's on purpose, by the way. It's by design, so we have all these options, which is good. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't see any of one of the most historic nights by a rookie in NBA history. I think last only night. three, right? It's only the third time. Uh, what, what are we talking about? Like, because a triple double with blocks. A, yes, and assists and all this kind of shit. So last night, Wimby had 27 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 blocks. A triple double. With blocks being part of the triple double, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he also had five assists. He had two steals in le- in only 28 minutes on the floor. That's what makes this you know all that. the you know more how impressive. They do. They're not giving him 30 minutes to save his life. It is unbelievable that he put numbers up like that in that short amount of time. 
Because I don't won. think I don't I'm think David was getting the game. Was David on a minutes restriction? I doubt it. David who? David Robinson. No. No. But David won 56 games his rookie year. The last – David okay. had a little more help. Okay. David didn't have Trey Jones in a bag of nuts at point guard. Well, all I'm saying is Wimby is not allowed in the same sentences as Tim and David yet. Well, he's doing things that Tim never did, statistically speaking, in his rookie year. Because – Tim First played team all-pro team, rookie year. Tim First had an all-around all team. Who, Mario Ellie? Tim. Yeah. Avery. Look, yeah. this is, I, you know what? Stay there. He had Avery Johnson. Mm -hmm. Who's, whose number is Sean retired. Elliott. Numbers retired. Knock it off. They were better Knock than what off. they have now. Knock it off, man. And he's he doing this in no under 30. Team. That wasn't a great team. Okay, whatever. Wimby's still putting up. Numbers that are better yeah, than they are. that. Fair. I didn't, I didn't mean to it's stop It's a you. different league, and the Spurs were scoring 88 points a game in those days, too. To be, and they, That's right. So for Tim's triple-double, I mean, Dave, well, they were scoring a lot of points when David busted out in the, in the mid-'90s. Yeah. Well, however you want to rank them. Whatever, right. What I, this kid's doing is awesome. It. And it's the reason I got the Bally Zap after two years of not watching them because I'm not going to watch shitty television. Again, this television show that we do is for winners by winners. If we're going to talk about losers, they better be teams that y'all care about. And the Spurs have been a loser for the last couple of years. So we talk about them. And I ain't going to sit up here and watch all these games. Last night, what he did. $18 a month is a lot to watch a team lose 80 games. What he did last night has not been done. Other, you said four guys ever. And he also was 10 for 14 shooting. The Hell of a percentage. The only rookies um, to have done what he did last night. Make, make sure I get this right in my notes. You got the glasses over the nose, people. I know. Get ready. Looking like Chuck Schumer. I'm yeah. I finally had it. Well, cut, finally cut a deal last night. Got us a deal. You're right. <laughs> you're right, Matt Bernard. His outfit, Wimby's pregame outfit, was classic. Oh, was it? You didn't see it. What did we he wear? Pull it up. Okay, see if like, we can find it. He looked like Slender Man, but he wore all black. Oh, cool. He was in all black. He was in go mode last Kinda night. Kind of like his Halloween outfit. Yeah, but all black instead. Not the mask. Yeah, he had the mask on. Well, he ain't been playing worth the shit for two weeks either. So, okay, y'all are terrible. I only got the app because of Wimby. He's in. He's hit a wall. I'm out. I, I'm not right. paying eighteen dollars. And then last night, I don't know. He just busted out. He's been in a slump for two weeks. He ain't played worth the shit based on his standard. Fair. On his on his standard. On his, his standard. bar. Right. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Ralph Sampson, David, and Hakeem Olajuwon are the only guys that have put up a wow. stat line in their rookie year the way he did last night. And from what I read, didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Vassell was Sam Vassell? Devin Vassell was, was like, great. What? The alien? Sam Cassell? No, no, no. Devin. Disrespectful um, and, and my man Jeremy Sohan Don't. was also great too. Why are you bringing up Jeremy? Because he's a good player, Rudy. I don't know why you hate Jeremy Sohan. I love Jeremy Sohan as a person. No, he can ball. He can hoop. I man. don't love he's him as kid. the ninth overall pick. He's a, He can hoop. And Grady Dick had 18 for Toronto. I just wanted to say his name. I just wanted to say Did you? I, the, Antonio Daniels was doing his game the other day, and whoever was doing the play-by-play -play yeah. was getting on Antonio's nerves. Antonio was like, can you just call him Grady? This is on live on television. Antonio was telling his play-by-play -play guy, please just say Grady. And the play-by-play -play dude said, Dick gets open. Dick hits it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dan Weiss was doing that same bit last night. You think so? Yo, look, look, at Wimby. so. look at Wimby's outfit, Mike. Oh, he wore that to the <laughs> yeah, game? Yeah. Holy shit. You better have a historic <laughs> night when you're rolling there looking like that. You know what? You know wow. What, you know the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw this last night? He's from France. Well, that too. <laughs> that was second. The first thing in my mind is I wonder wow. where Pop, where Pop's like, yo, where the fuck am I? It's time for me to retire when my star, who I lost 60 some my games for, is showing up to the arena like this. Like, he got on the bus with Greg Popovich dressed like that. Like, mm -hmm. think, like, you know what I'm saying? You see Pop, like, you know, Wimby's my guy. We built everything around him, and he gets on the bus like that. That's to be when you're fair, it was probably cold as shit no, in Toronto. I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Wow. But I'm just thinking, like, in Pop's mind, he's like, and then you get Jeremy get on the bus with purple and green hair. Sure. You see what I'm saying? Where yeah. Pop is, he's got to think, like, I'm in the fucking Twilight Zone. I got to retire soon. He did have uh, Dennis Rodman. <laughs> that, that, uh, and that made him change his ways, LG. After that, they were like, all right, we're not taking any more guys like this. There's a noted talk show host in this town who told me a few weeks ago that this is how you have to be as a coach. And these with these kids today, you have you're to right. tolerate this kind of That's, thing. You're right. I 
here, see, here, it's, here we go. <laughs> you're it's, right. It's still about winning. If you're going to dress like that, you need to have a triple double. And you're and and by did. the way, and they beat the shit out of the Raptors. Yeah. That makes it badass. Mm-hmm. If you're going to dress like that and you go out and go two for 12 and y'all get run off the like floor, you shit. look like a dipshit. Yeah. Fine line. What a badass he is. You can go win me, do me some, get look some, at that outfit, do some dude. winning. You do some dominating, you can do whatever you want. It's, but how do again, you breathe? I don't know. It's probably some $10,000 Louis Vuitton yeah, for thing sure. where you have they've got built in air conditioning. And then the goggles on top. <laughs> the goggles on top is what makes it super dope. Dude, I think he looks. It's weird because he went for a triple double with blocks. It's badass. Is he wearing a tie with no undershirt either? You can see the. No, skin. I like the fur on the collar of the jacket. Dude, it's fire. That's badass. It's fire. He's also in Canada. It's a weird place. But like LG said, it was probably two <laughs> degrees. It was probably two degrees. Yeah, no doubt. I think God, that looks badass. And so now I'm ready to. I want to see what happens tomorrow night when they play my brother's Dallas. team, the Mavs. Um, I, speaking of the Mavs, I saw a video on Luca. Mm-hmm. I guess this guy, you know, on YouTube, people, when you hate somebody, you can find video and just destroy him. He may be the worst defender in the world. Oh, according to the my la- father, cousin, and brother, the he's the greatest player of all time and is better than Dirk and needs a statue now. I've heard, I've heard people <laughs> saying he's better than Dirk. Dirk said he's better than Dirk, but his but defense is, it, it is it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. He doesn't play D. And they went and traded for some guys that played a little D last week. So, my, of course, they're going to win the title now, according to my brother. You know, it's over. Might as well just not have the they rest of the season. They ain't even coming out the West. <laughs> the West they, is too deep. Dude, they got to make the playoffs. So, anyway, I, I, I want to see Wimby follow that up, with whatever he's going to do tomorrow night, and I can talk shit with my brother. It's fun. Um, so, yeah, I may go ahead and get the Bally's again today. Son of a bitch. They've just been so terrible lately. And Do you have been to pay up well. front? You have to pay the eighteen up front oh, of yeah. the chart. No. no, no, you pay now. You, you, know, you don't get to pay later. It's not, you know. It's, remember the old back in the day, bill me later. Yeah, you used to get the little CDs sent to you. Or the, get the like remember ten that? CDs for you ten bucks. That? Bill yeah. me later. Yeah. Like, yeah, I did that ten that, times. We're, we're dating. <laughs> we're dating ourselves right now. <laughs> now you got to pay now. All right. Speaking of paying. Uh, it's only six bucks to watch this thing when we do our exclusive show, which comes down every weekday at twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. It is episode seven of our members only exclusive. It's already seven in the building edition that we do. We do two in the buildings each day. This one here that starts at eleven, and then we have the members only exclusive edition at twelve thirty, and it is only six bucks a month. Uh, you can become a member uh, on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, and I should note. I've just been handed a three by five card here by DJ LG saying, "Remind Thunderdome that the only way to watch the members only show live or anything live or anything live <laughs> is on YouTube." Save yourself the trouble. So, for all you Spotify guys, and I get it, I'm a Spotify guy. You are. You don't get anything till it's over. Yeah, I, I, I love Spotify, but you can't watch anything live. Like you know, that's just the way it goes. I know that. I'm going to watch it on Spotify. I got to wait till it's over. And how long after these shows are over, LG, approximately, does it post to Spotify? Should be within the hour. All right. So it's not that big a deal. So just let you know, 1230 is another edition of In the Building. Although I'd like to punch Spotify for yesterday. What happened? They <gasps> um, they didn't get the show uploaded on the app. You could go to the website, but mm-hmm. if you had the app, it was Mouse. missing for like 50% of our listeners for some reason. What? Yeah, I don't know what Fuck happened, Spotify. but I, cha- I chatted into customer service and went full Karen, and they fixed it within about an hour. Mm-hmm. Poor Karen. Yeah. I've got people wanting named to help daughter me with better Karen. television. If you named your daughter Karen, you're that mm. name, just call yeah. her Special K or something. Can I say yeah. something? Okay, I'm going to stop us down here. Why? How did that come to be? I don't know. I think I the, feel bad for I anyone think, named Karen. Can we get something? That, I, that sucks that that's become part of the lexicon. Yeah. I hate that. Karen, what did who was this? I think she was the original Karen. That I think her re, the person that originally went Karen first. Mm-hmm. Her real name was Karen. Oh jeez, and these kids went on there and made it viral, like the Jordan crying meme. And, and this now happens to all sorts of names. I mean, Richard. Yeah. Oh, Dick. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, back up. Who was bitching about? Just say, just say, Grady. Quit calling him Dick. Antonio Daniels. Yeah, it's Antonio's mind that's in the gutter. That's legitimately his name. <laughs> You're doing a professional broadcast. Your partner's saying dick. 
Well, we say LeBron. Dick we don't call two. him James. Yeah, but he we ain't say first Timmy, name but... status because no, you're uncomfortable with the word Dick. That says something about <laughs> Antonio Daniels more than the guy calling the game. All Fair. right, since you punch people already. Let's just get into it. It is the Orlando Kell Law Punch of the Day presented by the Law Office of Orlando Kell, the official what up, Lando? family lawyer of In the Building and Love You Hard TV is Orlando Kell. You can call him at 210-775-4995 or you can direct email him at orlandokelllaw at gmail.com. Uh, he takes on family law issues and really specifies, well, I guess... He doesn't prefer men, but he he he's taken men under his wing over the years because a lot of times guys get screwed in these kinds of situations, and especially when you got kids and homegirls using your babies as a as pawns for money. I got four kids to feed. Shit like that, holding that stuff over your head. Orlando really take he takes a shine to helping dads in these kind of things. So there's that. Thank you, to Orlando. I am going to punch Jackson Mahomes, two thousand two thousand twenty three. Mike Taylor, live, runner-up for the D-Bag Championship of the World. Who did he lose to in the, in the championship? Teddy Cruz. Damn, you went politics? I don't nominate them. Thunderdome does. I I'd don't, be scared of that. Oh, we've been doing this 15 years. I know, I'm just scared years, of politics. Man. Republicans buy shoes, too. I didn't, I didn't nominate Ted Cruz and didn't vote for him. I know. Yeah. yeah. Wendy Davis won it one year. She was a liberal-ass. Thank you. Who? Liberal ass bitch that ran for governor and had zero Biatch. platform, had no policies whatsoever. But she was pretty and she was she wore pink shoes and did a filibuster. And so now all of these idiot liberals think that she should be the governor. She got her ass handed to her by a sh even shittier candidate because they run dumbass weak. They run weak sauce candidates out for every election. It's facts. I ain't being. I'm not. These are not opinions. They're facts. Facts. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Mahomes, Anyhow. why are you punching him? What do he do? Jack, sorry, you got me. See, you mentioned. Uh, no, I, I do that well. I, I see. Mad. I need to stop that shit. No, what, no, what you is, don't. It's good. What did Jackson Mahomes do to you? Do we have the video of this? Yeah, I think we do. No, it's funny. I mean, this he, is awesome. So this is him doing what he does. Being trying Jackson to, Mahomes. Look to, at his face. He looks like you. I wouldn't like a him. A guy with no identity who gets gets by through life dropping who his brother is. I would do the same. Yeah, but at some point, you have no identity, Rudy. And he's too old. 15-year-old Jackson? Okay, that's okay, fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting laid because your brother? Cool. He's pushing 30 here. He got charged with sexual assault last it year. It was dropped. He needs to mellow the fuck out. And and I, and, and this is, here's proof, or so, this is a sign here that even, like, other family members are, like, tired of this dipshit. So here he is trying to get into a VIP club after the Super Bowl <laughs> and hang out with his brother's wife who's in there dancing and stuff with her buddies. Patrick was probably still getting cleaned up and shit, and he probably joined them later. This was actually before the bowl. Oh, this is pre? Yeah, this okay, is pre-party. My bad, my still, bad. It doesn't okay, matter. Doesn't matter. Regardless, yeah, Patrick's got regained. Regardless, Patrick's, on his, yeah. Patrick's like, you know, he's getting ready for a big Here, game. Here's this security guard telling him, no, you can't get in, and then watch her reaction. That's what makes this real funny. <laughs> Nope. Too bad. And Brittany's like, sorry. Sorry. Man. Oh, well, let's start dancing. <laughs> Run it one more time. Are we allowed? <laughs> yeah. Yo. God. Yo, that's oh messed up. Oh, my though. God. I'd be pissed at my sister. Fuck no, you can't come in. They're but, tired of his but, shit, but man. For her to hit the shimmy after and like, yo, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm done with it. That's her like way of rubbing even, it in like his face. Like Patrick Mahomes' wife. If she, that's why you know there's something with Jackson. Because if she wanted to, she could have made it happen. She didn't care right. for him to be there. Right. Like, I'm, I'm the first lady. My man is the face of the biggest sport in America. Mm -hmm. There's about to be 100 million people watching my husband. Mm -hmm. If she wanted to make that happen, if she really wanted Jackson in her right. section, it goes down. Yeah. She didn't want no part of him. Can't She's like, dude, her. he's annoying anyway. They're like, tired of his shit. That? How do you explain that to hubby, though, when hubby sees the video? He's probably told her. who. Get, <laughs> I'm sure they've discussed this. But Surely that's still his have. brother, Mike. At the end of the day, even if brother's a fuck up, it's still your brother. Yeah, but doesn't matter. We'll hang out off the. We'll hang out when there's not cameras around. You know, and she's a grown ass woman, Rudy. She don't want to hang out with this mother jammer. She doesn't have to. Like you said, she's the first lady. She don't answer to Patrick. 
She's what? probably tired what? of Hold on now. Hold on. What you mean she don't answer to Patrick? She what the hell do you mean? What do you mean? The I'm, way she acts in public. I'm, Ain't nobody telling her nothing. I'm, I'm let me be Patrick Mahomes. She answers to me. Are you lost your mind? <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what are we talking about here? Wow. What do you mean she don't answer to Patrick? What are we talking They're about? They're partners. No. Submit. The Bible says submit. Distance. You don't do politics. I don't do what you're getting into right here. Submit. There's certain, hang out over there's there. certain times. Time. Look, look, this is what I had to learn. I wasn't I, I wasn't always worthy of submission. You got to earn it as a man in the household. Like you got to be the man of the house and take care of shit and do what you're supposed to do in order to get your submission. Patrick Mahomes has earned submission in that house. And if I tell you that let my brother in the section, I expect you to let my brother in the section. That's my house. This is I built this. I, yes, we're partners. I don't, you're not, I'm not telling you to be barefoot in the kitchen. That's not what I'm telling you. But what I'm telling you is there's certain things that aren't up for debate. Here's what we don't know. Whether or not he's told her, F my brother. If he bothers you, tell him to fuck off. <laughs> I would have. That's, that's his brother, Mike. Rudy, I have seven siblings. I talked to two of them. Three on occasion. I've got two I haven't talked to. And I've got a sister I've not talked to and. 10 years. She's a fuck up. So you wouldn't let her in your section, Nina? If so, if Nina didn't let her in her section, you wouldn't be mad at Nina? Probably not. But we'll never be in a scenario where she's in the section. Y'all are hanging out, right? To my sister's credit, <laughs> she doesn't show up to the barbecue or she doesn't come to Southtown <laughs> trying to cherry pick attention yeah. off, off me or you. His well, brother. I'm just, hung up. I'm just hung up on you telling me that she don't answer to Patrick. You've lost your mind, sir. His brother is one of the biggest douchebags in America. Yes, he is. One of the you, biggest. You could, you could see it. You could see I, it in his haircut. You talk about politics. I would have voted for him over Ted Cruz. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> no At shit. At least Ted does something. Yeah. You may not agree with what he does, but he's but he, yeah, he, he does has a he position. has a real job, right? He contributes in a something in some sort of way. And this kid here don't do shit but live off my husband's name. I don't blame her at all for not fuck this guy. Maybe that's her showing but support to, for her husband. But to hit the shimmy in front of him while he was like, yo. You well, she, we also talking about Brittany Mahomes here. She's a little. She's out there, too. She's a little I'm going to call thing. bullshit on that because she's the way that's thing. edited. Oh, bullshit on what? On mm -hmm. that cut because okay. it cuts. To her at a different location. Oh, got you. So I don't even think she was. That was she was probably making that face at someone else. I, I call bullshit. All right. Well, I don't blame her at all for not wanting anything to do with him. With anything to do with Jackson. Period. Not you know, well, no. whether the cut to cut way pan away. Mm -hmm. He ain't get in. No, he didn't get in. And it didn't seem mm -hmm. like she made much of an effort to not get him at in. All. All right, we have an appearance uh, Where at? In, at the Ringer Pub next week. And if one of my long-lost siblings that I don't like or talk to <laughs> shows up, you tell their asses to fuck off. You have my permission. And got I'm going to shimmy like this. <laughs> I got you. All right. Got you. Uh, and Promise. believe me, they earned it. They got. They earned it. DNA don't make you family. Blood don't make you family. That's right. That's right. Um, we're going to be at the Ringer Pub on Wednesday the 21st. At 7 o'clock, it is a special edition of In the Building. Uh, not an exclusive members only, right? A public, you, know, you don't have to be a member, right, LG? No, we're not going to keep people out of the bar. Okay. Y'all get to come to the <laughs> bar with us. <laughs> well, shit, LG's normally the stickler, so I don't, I'm shocked. I, I've been yelled at so much. I'm yeah, just like, I don't, I don't eh, never I have, know. I have PTSD yeah, over you here. You never know, man. Uh, yeah, they'd probably get no sales if we did that. All right. Well, okay, cool. Well, come out and hang. I don't mean folks that are at the remote. I mean people that might want to watch it. They can watch live. They can watch live on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I'm no pretty sure what. Kevin wanted the show to be broadcast. To okay, everybody. pretty yeah. sure the client didn't yeah. want members only. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's trying to get exposure. Yeah. All right, it is a live broadcast to the masses uh, at the Ringer Pub on Thousand Oaks Drive and Jones Maltz Burger, and we have been there many times. This is the first time Rudy and I have done in the building out here, so a. Special edition, edition of In there the Building go. will come down Wednesday, February 21st. Okay. And we should have some kind of giveaways. 
something. We should. Yeah, yeah. we a little highly something, expect something. to. Okay. Okay, we expect to. All right. The next segment is brought to you by R&R Auto Glass, the official auto glass company of our show. If you have issues with your windows, uh, do not make your lady ride around in your black pickup truck with a bashed windshield on the passenger side because she can't see very thoroughly. Get your car out there and get it fixed. Or whatever your scenario is, they will fix your vehicle when it comes to the glass. And they'll give you a discount when you mention us. It is R&R Auto Glass right there by the airport at 281 in Nicoma, 210 340 2588 or rnrautoglass.com. Uh, I know you've seen this. Have you seen the story? Me or LG? You've seen this, Rudy. Okay. LG, have you seen the story of the stripper that got busted by the FBI for dealing blow? San Antonio stripper. Yeah. yeah. Exotic oh, well, She's regional. Exotic dancing. She's dancing. She was dancing in clubs here, Austin and Houston. Oh, so she was trafficking through. Sure, she's a she's syndicated. Hundred keys. <laughs> she had a. What did she move? Uh, I think the newspaper said a hundred keys. All right, let me get the That's notes big here. Shit. All right, this is a this is Guillermo Contreras writing for the San Antonio Express News today. A 24-year-old San Antonio stripper accused of distributing more than 100 kilograms of cocaine has been arrested after the FBI raided her apartment. Uh, she lived in the uh, apartments right there by La Cantera Mall, right? Now, you know, those apartments that built right there, right alongside yeah, the about. access road. She's up in there somewhere. The agents, the feds, found more than two keys of blow. I'm, he didn't write blow in the article. I'm paraphrasing. She had $45,000 in cash nice. in the apartment. Nice. The Via La Cantera Apartments. In a traffic stop the same day, she got pulled over by cops the same day, law officers also found more than one key of Coke in her car, a Mercedes SUV. This woman's name is Giselle Cabrera Rodriguez. What's Damn. her name? Giselle, like Giselle Bunchen. She's 24. Our, oh. our parents probably named her after the supermodel. Well, Giselle Rodriguez. What a well, this is this to me. This the cartel like, calls her G Rod. No, they don't. <laughs> You're paraphrasing again. Yo, so this is what I'm it, lying. So this is yeah. <laughs> so this is what happened. This is the world we live in now. She, someone ratted her out. Because my thing is like, if Giselle gets pulled over in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. why the fuck are they doing a the search of her car? What's and the FBI? They, They've been on her. Yeah, somebody somebody ratted on her. Someone ratted her. Someone Probably. got someone got caught with coke and said, "I know who the dealer is," and she's big time. And mm -hmm. you're a woolly racer record. We've seen this story a million times. Well, at the end she of the day, she got snitched on. They pulled I used her, to suck dick for coke. They pulled her over in the car. <laughs> I did. Then they went to the apartment, and all in all, total in the car and in the apartment, she had almost four kilos of blow. Good for her. Good for her. Forty-five G's in cash. And she went ahead and came clean. She told the agents that she has regularly been getting five to ten kilos of cocaine from a source of supply in Mexico over the last six months. All in all, she told the feds she's probably trafficked about 105 keys in the last six months. She better not give names. Ooh. Well, she's already. She's going to get stripped. She's already behind the eight ball. Her, she's already from behind this the ear to yeah. that ear. She's already behind the eight ball because she got You've caught. been selling eight balls. God, Someone dang. might get her in jail. That sucks. Damn, man. She was selling each key for 13 k So she has sold four Mexican drug dealers over 100 keys of blow over the last six months at $13,000 a key. That's she light. sold over 100 That's a little of. light for 2024. I don't know Coke, but it just seems light unless you're buying a whole bunch of them. Assistant U.S. Attorney John Fedock says that she provided two sources of income. One, what? being an adult dancer. That's how and, she sold the shit. And as the owner, operator of a trucking company, mm. i.e. cocaine distributor. Damn. She's worked at clubs in San Antonio, Austin, and Houston. She was using the club to score customers. Yeah. That's what she was doing. I bet yeah. they were doing deals in the club. Well, you got to think. You go to the table that's got the most champagne, throwing the most money, mm -hmm. and you start letting them know, hey, I'm Griselda Part 2. Women make better hustlers. Especially when they got their tits in your face well, <laughs> and you're drunk and making dumb decisions. Actually, no shit. it makes me wonder how Giselle Rodriguez cannot be the only 
pole dancer to sell blow to people well, in the club. Well, I think I would bet you she has ten girls underneath her. Yeah, or or she underneath another girl. Well, yeah, or Dude, who knows where this shit goes? That's a or lot of the coke, manager man. of the clubs. I mean, 105 keys of coke over That's six months of, for some little girl dancing in a club. Yeah, she did good. She's part of something. Uh, hopefully, huge. she just takes the rap on her own. Well, so she don't get died. You as keep Mike saying say. she did good. I don't know if it's going to work out for her. She's only 24 years old. Her life's over. So She'll get out when she's 44. For the moment, with possession, with intent to distribute 500 grams or more of cocaine and okay. conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute. That's also a, okay. she's part of a ring. Each charge is car- carries five to 40 years in, in the Fed. She'll probably get 20. Damn. She'll well, be out at 44. Talking. She's singing. Oh, she's singing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well. well, that's why she's saying, oh, I've, I've been giving, I've had over 105 keys I've been getting from a source that's, in Mexico. That's fucked up. Why she's would chirping. they release that information? Why would they release the information that she's a rat? I don't know. Because they're, they're looking for killed? a bigger rat. They're looking for I a possum. I get that, but they're going to get the damn girl killed. They don't give a fuck. They don't give two shits about that. You think they give a shit what happens no, to her? They're no, trying they to don't. get the big dog. No, she they is, don't. They found the rook. They're looking for the king. She ain't no pawn, but she's like a rook looking for the king or the queen. You never know. Or the queen. Hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. I hope it was worth they it. They didn't say what club? Nope. Hadn't identified the club. Although I did see that Sugars went out of business. No, All Stars. <laughs> oh, is it ro- Sugars right? Sugars is still rocking What's the rolling? sign they're selling? The shark? Oh, no, that's All Stars. Oh, All Stars went out of business. All Stars I'm sorry. My bad, Sugars. I Sugars still rocking and rolling. They y'all. Sugar's still rocking and rolling. You drive by there, it's still pretty packed, especially now this income tax season. <laughs> Everybody income yeah. tax ballers. Yeah, fuck paying the rent. I'm going to all stars. Fucking right. Yeah. Fucking life is hard, man. <laughs> Go get a couple lap dances. Dollars? Worry about the rest on Monday. I understand. All right. What else today in football? We ain't even got the football yet. It's 39 after the hour. What happened in football? Oh, I thought football so season's over. So it's done. Over. Mike, enough shit. What are you talking? It's just starting. This is my. This is most fun for a cowboy fan in the off season. Why? Because you get to you get to hope again. Well, you get to make fun of the dumb shit they do and hope, and you know, overanalyze shit they do. Which okay. so it got so they they comes out last week. They're going to bring in old man Mike Zimmer as their defensive coordinator, who I love and he's family. But as I told you, I I may I may, he's sixty seven years want, old. You don't man. want him? No. Okay, go not ahead. really. And I also don't think he's going to work with their culture. He brings a culture of old school hard knocks, and they don't roll like that up there. And the big pizzas, they don't want to be yelled at and told they're they're ugly. Well, it, they want Dan ahead. Quinn with his hat on backwards and on TikTok. They don't want a mean old well, defensive this is the coordinator. Thing. I, again, I hate to always bring it back to Pop, but it comes down to Micah, uh, Mike. And what I mean by that is, if Micah allows, if Micah and Demarcus, they're their leaders. Micah, Demarcus, who am I leaving out? Was the tall safety? J. Ron Curse. If Curse, Demarcus, and Micah allow Zimmer to coach them, everybody else has to fall in line. Meaning, like how Pop always told us, like Tim allowed me to curse him out sometimes. So when I got to curse out Tim, who underneath him can tell, who underneath Tim can say anything? If I can coach Tim, if I can ride Tim's ass, I got to be able to ride everybody. So if Curse. Demarcus and Micah, the three leaders on that side of the ball, if they allow Zimmer to dog cuss them and they just take it and do what he says, then it works. The only way Zimmer's style works is if the leaders accept the coaching. But if they don't, Mm -hmm. the shit's going to end bad. I mean, look at Washington. Eric Bieniemy gets there, everybody's crying. Mm -hmm. He's He's, he's yelling at me. He wants us to show up on time. I suck. He's telling me I'm not running my routes right. (laughs) He made me tackle somebody. And and the the year went to shit, and he's out of a job because the leaders over there didn't accept the coaching. Come down to Mike and D-Law. I threw curse in there because, but it really comes down to those two. Well, the great Rudy J also told me three weeks ago they don't have any very good. They don't have good they leadership don't. in their room. They if don't. Micah Parsons is one of my team leaders, I have problems. He may be the most talented yeah. guy I've got on defense, but if he's leading my locker player, room, period. I'm yeah. fucked because he ain't no leader. He's a punk. I'm tired of his bullshit. Um, it got weird though for a couple of days. Did you see the weird exchange with Adam Schefter and Rex Ryan before no. the Super Bowl? What happened? So it's pre Super Bowl shit on CBS and Rex. You know, Rex interviewed for the job, and they got the. And Rex, by the way, his approach and Zimmer's approach probably couldn't be any more opposite. Rex, I think Rex. Oh, I didn't really want Rex. He fits the cowboy culture because he's about fun and bullshit. He's a grab asser. He's He's a grab grab asser. Yeah. 
That's why he's on television. So there's a they're they're talking so they're talking to Adam Schefter on the pregame show, mm-hmm. and he's and of course what are they talking about before the Super Bowl? Talking about them Cowboys. <laughs> Why the fuck else would you? Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude! Jesus, dude! The Cowboys? shit. Here we go. The shit is Mason disgusting Royal. at this point. Here we go. It's disgusting. This, shit, bitch. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> like, come on, Adam, you're better than this. Anyway, finish your story. They want ratings. They're 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 playing the hits. You want, top 40 radio, they play Taylor Swift. The Cowboys the are Taylor Chief, Swift. The Chiefs and 49ers <laughs> are fine. But go ahead. Uh, so they're having an exchange about Mike Zimmer. And Adam was Adam threw a joke in. And no, and we're, we're, about feet. we know that our guy Rex yeah. uh, applied for the job. And while we're sad that he didn't get the job, we know he wanted it. We're super happy that we're going to keep him here on CBS on the pregame show. Right. They're all excited. I guess maybe it's ESPN. And they're ha ha ha. It was ESPN. Sorry you didn't get the job, but we love you, Rex. We love you hard. We're happy you're gonna. We got you for another year. And he what he and he said in a straight face. Now wait a minute. As of right now, Zimmer still hasn't gotten the job. I'm just gonna say that. And, and they're all like, "What?" And Adam, I'm Sch- just saying. And Adam Schefter's like, "Uh, kind of dumbfounded." I'm Adam Schefter. I break news, motherfucker. But but Rex Rex acted like, "No, no, I'm still in the mix." Yeah. It got weird. And then later, Schefter released a statement, and he went on another show saying, looks like maybe the, there's a hang-up with the Zimmer deal. And so maybe Rex is back in the mix. And the Cowboys loved Rex Zimmer in the interview process. Mm. They loved, loved they loved Rex Ryan. They loved, oh, yeah. yeah. I say Rex Zimmer? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Go ahead. They loved Rex Ryan. Got you. And they were this close to hiring him, but whatever Mike did in the interview, the Cowboys decided to go to Mike. And so Mike, now it's official today. Mike's the defensive coordinator. It's official, it official, weird. official. It's official, official. official. Yeah, okay. yeah. And so back to the glasses here. Sorry, I got a lot of notes today. <laughs> he does it every time. We'll all get, we're all getting used to it. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Here are some quotes life. on Mike Zimmer. And as I read these to you, just keep in mind the team he's decided to go work for. Darren Woodson on the great Mike Zimmer. Quote, I'm listening. Mike doesn't have any backup in him. He's going to set his feet forward, and he will fight your ass tooth and nail, a lot like Bill Parcells did. According to the great Darren Woodson, you're going to do it Mike's way. He might might not be your best friend. It's not going to be cuddling and kumbaya. That ain't happening. He's going to test your mettle. That all fit the Cowboys and how they operate. (laughs) Well, give him a chance, Mike. Shit. I love Mike believe, Zimmer. Do you believe? I believe in Mike Zimmer. I don't believe in those shit bags that represent my organization. So you're telling me there's a chance. Okay, so this is this. Okay, this. I got more. Okay, go Marcus ahead. Marcus Spears, uh, veteran, former Cowboys defensive end. Failed C- Cowboys defensive end. He was fine. He's high. But, but, he drove up the training camp in a purple Range Rover. He was a spare. I taught him how to do radio. The year, this last year with the Cowboys, he knew he was going to retire. And they, he, like Dion, they called yeah. up to us and, like, hey, we'd, is it cool? They being his people, Marcus would like to get into broadcasting. Would you guys let Marcus come sit in? They're like, yeah, let him come sit in with this old kid we got at night. I got to do shows with Marcus Spears when he was still playing. It was pretty He's cool. good. It's pretty cool. He's, He's good. great He's on He's yeah. better on TV than he yeah. was on I'm football. I'm not taking field. credit. No, I know what you mean. Go I, ahead. I helped him, you know, when he was in double A. He was he, with you. He was with me. So they asked Marcus about Mike Zimmer. He's a great man, says Marcus. He's a phenomenal football coach. Tough but fair, and he cares about his guys. It was great to play for Zim even when he was cursing me out. So we can debate whether or not he's too old and has been out of the game for a while. Like 10 years ago, I'd have had a Woody for Mike Zimmer. Right. And, 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 and trying to remove all my bias out because Mike was on those 90s teams that I loved so much that represented all those things that I want my football team to represent that no longer do. But he's old. He's been out of the league a minute. And we talking about the Cowboys in 2024. If Micah Parsons is my team leader, he is. good luck to Mike he Zimmer is. trying to get that fool to go old school and do the things you have to well, do to win. I, I, look. I watched, I watched Joel and B behave like a child for the fir- first six, seven years of his career. Yeah, you did. Doc mm-hmm. Rivers gets over there, and he matured, and he became a leader, and he's gotten better. He still hasn't won anything, but 
he made the leap. He made the leap from being a boy to becoming a man. Mm-hmm. Not boy. I hate when people call black men boys, even me. He was, you know, a child. Now he's become a man. Maybe this is what Micah needs. Maybe he needs somebody to check him. Man, and, and again, if he's if he really wants to be great, he'll accept it. If he doesn't, if he just wants to be Mike and do what he wants to do, and you know, Jerry's about to pay him forty million dollars a season, then we'll see. But sometimes you need sometimes you need that. I mean, hell, Phil Jackson changed Shaq. You know, like there's sometimes a coach makes a difference. Mm-hmm. We'll see if Zimmer is that difference for Micah. I hear hope from this Cowboy fan over here. A little bit. I hear some hope from Ruth. Because I, 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 I like to think the way he talks, again, does he piss me off and is he annoying? Absolutely. But the way he talks about the game, he acts like he wants to be a great. He acts like it. He, he says like it. it. He says it. He says it. He says it. That's what he, he says. He wants to be great. So we'll see. He also throws other guys other guys under the bus yeah. on his podcast left and right, yeah, he does. which is unprofessional and often dumb. For instance, I pulled this quote, too, from Micah's show. Where would he go? And look, I don't want to talk about his podcast all the time, but the man has one, and he often says dumbass things. For instance. A lot of sh- dumb shit. Go ahead. He said the other the other day, T.J. Watt is not a top five pass rusher he in the NFL. He didn't say that. Quote, Mike, Mike Taylor, he did not say that shit. Right what? here. I got the quote, man. What the fuck? Okay, Quote, go ahead, read it. I mean, look at the stats. The stats don't lie. He ain't top five. I think Alex Highsmith might have had a better pass rush win rate, and he had a more double team rate than T.J. Watt. Here's the thing. Whether or not T.J. Watt is top five in the league, which he, he is. <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I don't watch that. I don't have the eye like Whether or not. Right. Why do you have other guys' names in your mouth on your podcast while y'all are still playing? That's just. That's not what you do. And I don't know when you have time to watch these guys. Especially when you don't win shit right. ever. I'm ass whipped by Micah. Parsons. Well, again, he knows ass more. Whipped. He knows more football than me, but it is it's weird for him to I guess especially when you're always coming. I guess he comes after the media because we never played at that level. I'm just I'm just trying to get into the mind of Micah. We never played at that level, so he has to let it be known. Like, look, if I criticize T.J. Watt, or, mm-hmm. it means something. If Mike Taylor, LG, or Rudy J. does, y'all mm-hmm. don't know shit. Y'all never played at this level. Well, I have become indifferent to Micah Parsons. So whatever, whatever knowledge he has to give me, I'm out because of all the other bullshit that happens on that podcast. And because too. you disappear at the end of the season. That's correct. And you talk a lot of shit, man. And... Coming up at 1230 okay. in the exclusive members-only edition of In the Building, Episode 7, we're going to run a couple of cuts with Micah Parsons in his podcast from Saturday, the day before the Super Bowl. He was out in Vegas, big setup and shit, of course. His producers got him out there, and he had C.D. Lamb on. Have you seen the C.D. Lamb stuff that C.D. was saying? Yeah. We're going to get into that coming up at 1230. How about that for a tease? That's professional Dan you, Rather man. School Thank of you. Communications. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. All right. Segment brought to you by Texas Cheer Liquor, the official all right, liquor all right, store. All right. Whoa, I like that. Mark that <laughs> tape. I'm sorry I was talking over it. Uh, it's Texas Cheer Liquor. DMX. <laughs> that sounded like LG. <laughs> no, that was DMX. Oh, that was X? Rest in peace, X. <sighs> oh, yeah. They got seven locations. Uh, that's my boys, the Singh family. Singh, not Smith. Although I've been told that Singh is kind of the Smith of India. Yeah. Singh. Singh. Renee chimed, I didn't even realize Renee chimed in on our chat. She said that she 100% got snitched on. Now, you know Renee's a former detective, husband's a detective, so mm-hmm. they know things. Sure. So I, speaking of the cocaine dealing stripper. I love, oh, they're, 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 they're saying, oh, she must have got 100% snitched, snitched on. 100% snitched on. Yeah, someone outed her. Yeah, maybe, maybe an undercover. Yeah. I mean, that, isn't that a good, don't they send a lot of undercovers to strip clubs? I don't know why they don't just leave the strip club alone. Them girls are making money. Dudes are there to relieve stress. Ain't nobody bothering nobody. No. Leave the strip club alone. It serves its purpose in America. It's prime breeding ground for idiots, though. It's a good place to do stupid shit and make and make deals and butt up in the VIP. I know. Strippers Dude. need a union. Oh, that'd be great. They need a union. They need they benefits. They may have one in Nevada. They need benefits. They need dental. They need health care. Mm-hmm. They need a union leader. 
I know it's tough when you go to the dentist. Okay, that'll be three hundred fifty bucks. Kertunk. It's on cash. All in ones. <laughs> I've seen it. Texas Chill Liquor. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. They got I've seen them. seven locations. They are conveniently located all over this Fairburg that we live in, and they got Valentine's gifts too. About yeah, that. I've seen some chocolates up in there. Forget these teddy bears. And regular junk, give the gift that speaks by volume. Give some booze. There's not, I love to getting lady. a or bottle. Some, some pretty wine. Or I some love really getting nice bottles stuff. and giving bottles. No, like everybody loves alcohol. Yeah, women like to drink, but you know, do make it pretty. Go get a gift bag, put a bow on it, give her her favorite wine. What's you know, a good whatever. bottle of wine to give to a woman for a Valentine's Camus. gift? What kind, of, what kind of wine is it? Red. All right. <laughs> I had a guy come in the other day. Like a blend, Merlot. No, like, no, I don't know. I just had it. Look, LG, it's out of my price range, but I went to some fancy dinner, um, and there was like three bottles of it, and I loved it. But it's like a hundred bucks. Rudy's a man whose right. wife submits to him, so why no, should he bother knowing what she, she drinks? She gets me. him wine for things. I, for, I, for I haven't earned the submission. When if, if, if you still if you still oh. getting help if you still getting help with the bills she ain't submitting the I shit. I hope she ain't watching this show today. <laughs> she she's knows. not gonna want us to blow up. She knows who now, she So married. if we blow up, then she has to she go into, to submit. into the closet. You're goddamn right. Okay, get in the corner. Get, go over you there and hang out. submit <laughs> shit. <laughs> I I don't fix shit and I don't pay for everything, uh, uh, so I get no submission. Uh, by the way, there was a shooting at Sugar's last night. Really? Yeah. Even though All Stars was the one that's closed, Sugar still had a shooting. <laughs> <laughs> shit. What well, are shootings everywhere? Uh, shout out to Alex Medina. Just became a member today. Uh, hey, hey, that, hey, means, hey. that means he can watch us at 1230 or listen to us. He can watch us live if he we has YouTube. We still got Buffalo Trace over there at Texas. Jay there Glenn, too. you think Parsons is annoying now? Imagine if they actually did some winning. You know what? If they did some winning, you I say what give the a fuck shit. he wants. Then you can show up in the, in the Wimby Bumblebee outfit if you win. Winners get to do what they want. Yeah. And he ain't won shit. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What just happened is unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. So there, that's it. Donnie on the north side's in here. What'd he say? Taylor. Oh, oh damn it. And pull it back. Taylor, quit bullshitting. We know you're going to be right back on the train for training camp. Yep. Gonna, oh, Mike yep. Zimmer's got him changed. Yep. I watched practice yep. in training camp. Thank you. Zimmer's got him on the well come up. Said. Stop this bullshit. Well said. <laughs> you're 100% yeah, correct, Rudy sir. claims the same thing. <laughs> If y'all buying this Mike Taylor bullshit Dude, is out I'm on the Cowboys, I got oceanfront property for you. I'm not in out, Idaho. I'm just apathetic. Okay, all right. The Cowboys—they're all a bunch of pizzas, man. And Damn. they go agree. They go against one of our edicts, and that is we do a show about winners for winners. Dak Prescott. So <laughs> they go agree. They go against that. They're pizzas up there. We're in here with an Eagle fan. I know, I don't care. I I forget he's an Eagle fan. Which by, look at that hair. He got his hair cut, which is good. He looks like a monk. He went short. Show him yourself, LG. You know, look at that, up, LG. Look at that. Edgar had to go, dude. Yes. I rocked Edgar for three weeks. <laughs> you look Rocks. like you know what? It's funny. You had the Edgar, and then now you look like the guy that has the Edgar when he gets furloughed or gets paroled because he had to oh, yeah. shave it. He gets drafted. All <laughs> that <laughs> oh, crazy. Shit, the Cowboys. They when then when things get hard, and that's what's unfortunate. What? And that's why it goes against my what? show. It when things get difficult, okay. when life gets hard for the Cowboys, yeah, they stick their heads in the sand. The 49ers were down three touchdowns in a playoff game to the D Detroit Lions. It came all the way back and whipped their ass. Well, the Cowboys are pizzas. They are not to be trusted. They have no fidelity. They cheat on you. They get your hopes up and they and they shit on you. Cowboy's girlfriend, the whole bit. I've done that bit for 15 years and it's still the same. It's not changed. And I'll cover them. I'll talk about them. Of course. Them. I'm a fan of them. Of course. But at no point am I going to be like, uh-oh. Dude, Zimmer's got uh, Zimmer may have this thing. This. I ain't trying to hear Zimmer that Zimmer may shit. have this thing where it needs to be. I ain't trying to hear it. I uh -oh. We've got months I to figure this out. I can't wait till football season. We've got months to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, we do. God almighty. Taylor, speaking of, oh, this is a, we're going Brad on the north side. Speaking of, winners getting to do what they want. How the hell do you know what Patrick Mahomes and his old lady have said? Maybe she's happy to submit. I mean, he is Patrick fucking Mahomes. Thank and you. as you say, winners get to do what exactly. they want. Exactly. I know. 500 million? Yeah, I know. I better get some type of submission. God, he's so good. <laughs>
I went back and watched some more Super Bowl last night. Just that dude just He's a as he's soon a as badass. You could we made the my, I was talking to my I was talking about my twins, the white twin. Everybody at he, he went the one there. I met the other day, the one that came to Southtown. No, no, you met my oh, oldest. Oh. Talk about my twin in Hawaii. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't call today. Apparently, Phone, phone's dying. Okay, I like my kids' call-ins. Went over to the buddy's house. They were a bunch of 49ers fans. A lot of 49ers fans in Hawaii. They were pissed. They did not want the 49ers to kick the field goal. They wanted them to go they, on fourth because they knew that Patrick was going down the field. He's scoring no matter what. That guy just ad hocs his way down the field and right. touchdowns in his sleep. Well, I didn't mean to get off the topic of no. the family and Micah. Just that guy. No, but I mean, I, I like me some Mahomes. But this is now forty-five points worth of leads. Kyle Shanahan has had in three Super Bowls. Yep, and lost all three. He gets he gets a pass on this one. It's Mahomes. Well, the other the other ones were Brady. Well, the other one was Mahomes, and the other one was Brady. Well, I mean. <laughs> At least he's what in the gonna game. Do? Right, right, right. I know. I'm just saying. Am what I allowed gonna... to wear a Mahomes shirt? I'm just Fuck saying. Fuck yes. He, I'm yes. a front. He's for Texan. Yes. I lived in Tyler. You're allowed. <laughs> Not a jersey. I don't wear jerseys. I Unless wore, I wore a game. Mahomes jersey. Yeah, I know. Remember? I saw it. But you said he was. you he's lost a bed city, or some yeah. shit. Yeah, I was for my brother-in-law. Yeah. All right, man. I'll All see right. you at 1230. All right, 1230. You got to be a member of the exclusive members only. Episode 7 will come down. We'll hear from C.D. Lamb talking about his mama talking shit about Dak Prescott coming up in 30 minutes on Love You Hard TV. Dak Prescott sucks. This program was made possible by contributions from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.